Good afternoon and welcome to Semple Stadium for this All-Ireland qualifiers. Tipperary against Wexford. Tipperary lost. Yes, it was in charge. James McGrath from Turing County Westmead. 33-year-old, 10 years in the national committee. And down at the other end, there's a little bit of a brownie goes on. There's uh, two helmets are uh, now discarded. Down at the other end, it is Lark Corbett, and that's the opening score for Tipperary. Challenged by Owen Quigley, wasn't sufficient to stop. Right half back, David Young, on his first championship appearance. It's a very good start for the former under-21 Tipperary captain. It is, Marty, a great point for a fellow making his first uh, appearance. That's going to give him a lot of confidence. Knocked away momentarily. Knocked away again by the diving on Quigley. Gets it back for his midfielder, Colin Farrell. And there's Wexford's opening point in this All-Ireland qualifier. Good score by Farrell. It was a very good score. He's a player... To yeah, Ke I see Keith Roster has changed into the corner. And is playing now at left corner back on Noel McGrath. On quickly. Having had a series of injuries, good to see him back in this league campaign. Skipping away is Rory Jacob. Onto the left hand side, straight between the posts. Wexford's second point of the day. Yeah, good low ball in. Sometimes Wexford you know, don't play that low ball, but Rory Jacob out in front and lovely score. The control. Had to backpedal a little bit. Turns, sends it in towards Banville. Not a bad ball, actually, for the full forward. Now, what's he going to do here? Paul Curran staying in front of him. Banville turns, and that is over the bar for Stephen Banville's first point. Sean Maliers, man, fifth year on the panel, ex-University College Cork graduate and student. That's a nice score. Play baller from a free yet. Nice work by Hugh, or rather Harry Hyo. Backfires uh, the midfielder, and that is going to drop just over Brendan Cummins' crossbar. Means the two midfielders for Wexford have now scored. And they stay in touch, the Slaney Siders. Action, here's Keith Rossiter. Playing hurling in this All-Ireland qualifier, despite breaking his hand four weeks ago. Kearns is not a good one, as he... Flick back, the referee I think is going to blow his whistle, is he, or is he going to allow the score by Noel McGrath? I think he's going to allow it. Yeah, lovely score. He, uh, he makes it look so easy, Noel McGrath, when he's in full flight like that and just taps it over the bar. Peter Atkinson with the 65. Has plenty of height and the umpire will wave the white flag. Parted free for Peter Atkinson. Prairie goalkeeper Brendan Gullicks. Straight down the middle. Look who's looking for the slither. Lar Corbett. Out around the middle of the field. Touches it beautifully with the hurl. And scores his third point of the game. That's a brilliant point, Marty. It made it look so easy. But the way he just leaned back and over his shoulder. An absolutely brilliant point from 70 yards out. And he's to see if he can find Banville. Loose ball available. Comes back outside, far as Tomas Waters. Well surrounded, good defence, good pressure by Tipperary. But not sufficient to deprive Wexford of another valuable point. Tomas Mahan at the end of it. Lark Corbett. Backfires David Young. Sweet striker of a ball. Not bad for a right half back. Three points in the opening half. Well, Marty, the, the last day I was down here at Waterford, Declan Prendergast came on at half time and scored three points from left half back. And see David Young, just absolutely fantastic striking. Nice dispossession here by Porig Mark. Did well. Sent it back. It's direct ball. Straight down the middle. Oh, that's a lovely little flick on. There's a chance of a point, and it's well taken. Owen Kelly at the end of it. He now has scored an even six points. By Wexford. Shane McGrath gives it long, and there's trouble for Wexford. It's Lark Corbett. This is goal written all over it. It's going over the goal line, it is. 
Green flag for Tipperary. Applause from the supporters. Noel McGrath setting up Lark Corbett. He struggled to get inside Noel Carton, but it just literally rolled over the goal line. Game, match, Tipperary. Yeah, good vision by McGrath, but really, you know, it's far too easy. Owen Kelly was queuing up there as well to have a go, and 13 points in it now. It's going to be a long second half if, if this continues, and if we just don't show a bit of leadership. Patrick Maher. Lark Corbett is inside again. Hits it! Brilliant! In the space of a minute, the Wizard of Carlos, Lark Corbett, finishes it off. Wexford in style. You can safely say Wexford already are out of the championship after 38 minutes of action. The hands are up around the head and they're wondering what exactly is going to happen here. And all those people you saw were wearing Wexford jerseys. Well, here's a very good response. Harry Kill. Yeah, his third point of the game. Third point, he's only a young player and you know, lovely striker of the ball and he's, he's gone in wing forward and over the second half and Parry Murray scored two good points in the first half and they're going to need all these young guys. Guess what they can out of this game now? The game. Just took his eye off it momentarily. Stephen Banville works hard since coming back on again and that's over the bar for his second point. You know, I was just saying that when he was taken off uh, originally, you know, I didn't think he got an off of the ball, to be fair to him, and, uh, you know, he's out centre forward now, it, I mean, he's gone back in full again, but maybe he should have switched out there and get more involved in the game. Conor O'Mahony. Runs on all the way for Seamus Callan. Good defending by Kieran Kenny. Two temporary forwards chasing in hot pursuit. Putting the pressure on. John Sexton, the linesman, now an official with Cork, originally from Limerick, indicates it's a Wexford ball. Michael Jacob going to take this. Son of uh, Mick Jacob, Wexford's first All-Star back in 1972. Sends it across over towards Tomas Mann. Connor O'Brien stays between him and the goalposts. Ball down for David Redmond. Good defending this time by Shane McGrath. There's a follow through on Shane McGrath. It appeared to be David Redmond. He's the guilty party. The referee, however, has continued all the way up the field. From where the slither has landed, it's going to be a free. Another opportunity for Owen Kelly. Moss Waters. By the way, off camera is back on for Wexford. So uh, Banville was a <laughs> flood substitute. Just seems to be a little bit confusing, Michael, isn't it? Yeah. I'd say if he's brought on again, he might want to go on. That's really fed up of it. Owen Kelly, for once, sends the ball wide. I don't actually think Stephen Banville is that happy about being taken off. He's indicating to Colin Bonner, you know, what's up? And you can see the frustration. They don't seem to be able to hit the ball on the run. Sent in by Jim Berry. That's a good score. Sure that point would be scored. Conor O'Brien easily won back by Jim Berry and that's another good score by the Fejarriers boy. Good hurler Jim Berry. That's a great score from out in the wing end. Over towards Noel McGraw turning easily past the 20 past the 13 there's trouble off the crossbar Gary Egan it's becoming quite embarrassing. Wonderful goal for Tipperary, created by Noel McGrath. Desperately unlucky to hit off the crossbar. Watch Darry Egan, lovely stick work, back at the net. 3.24, Tipperary, 16 points for Wexford. Is it straight down the middle again? Neatly picked up here by Harry Kill. Needs a little bit of support. Jim Berry is there. 
and he sends that off the crossbar and over the bar for Jim Berry's third point. Not bad for a substitute, and I know there are people who would say down Slaney's side that Jim Berry should actually be in yeah, the starting he's, 15. He's done very well, and you know, 18 points is a good times tally any day. You know, and you know they've done well enough in, in certain areas. And I think Tip will be a little bit concerned that there seems to be a lot of room up there. In ball, Noel Carr. Safe as house is beaten three times today, but he can't be blamed. As Tipperary end the agony for Wexford, and more importantly, James McGrath, the referee from Westmead, ends the agony. Tipperary had this match more or less won at half time by 15 points to seven at the break. But Lark Corbett scored two cracking goals within a minute, two minutes into the second half. It was this man that scored the third goal when he was introduced as a substitute after Noel McGrath did all the hard work. Two